Mm -hmm. I'm looking at a refund. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So I'm testing out my new um, camera that I just got. This is the Canon M50 Mark II, and I'm just testing it out. lifestyle lovers welcome back to it's e lifestyle and if you are new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called it's e lifestyle and it is all about creating a good lifestyle okay lifestyle lovers so this is the start of a new vlog today is saturday and we're getting ready to head out to do some shopping i just wanted to let you guys know i talk all that trash on the last vlog and i talked about how i wasn't gonna get a new camera i was gonna send my camera off to be fixed and i am gonna send it off to be fixed but i broke down and i bought a new camera which is what i'm filming on right now so i'm just trying to you know learn the settings and stuff on it so you guys tell me what you think because i'm looking into the lens finder which i probably should be looking this way um, because the viewfinder is on the side opposed to at the top. So I stuck with the Canon camera. Um, I'm pretty much, I'm loyal to a brand if, if it, if it's, if it's good to me. If I use something of a particular brand, brand, I pretty much stick with that same, same brand. So I stuck with Canon and I got the... This is the one that I have, which is the Canon M50 Mark II. Um, I did a little research regarding the different um, vlogging cameras, and this is the one that I chose because, like I said, I wanted to stick with Canon. It's a little bit heavier than the GX Mark II, but it's kind of a little bit better for sit-down videos, but it's good for vlogging as well. But I pretty much thought about, um, I didn't tell you guys, but I was planning to do some traveling, but I wanted to pretty much make sure I just started a new position, and I wanted to kind of, you know, check the temperature of the new position and be sure that I was going to be able to take the time off. And I was. So I did not want to travel without a camera. You know, I know I could have used my phone to vlog and stuff like that. But I need my phone for my phone. So I'm just, I'm kind of playing around with the settings. Um, just to kind of see what works. But I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing. And probably select a fragrance for today so this is what i'm wearing today lifestyle lovers is actually it's like a one piece it reminds me like of a wrestling suit but it's really really thick material this is from express i don't know if they still have it because i've had it for a while but you know it's just pretty much like a one piece almost like a onesie type type deal and then i have a blue tunic that I am just wearing as a cover up. I have my uh, Jordan ones that I absolutely love. I wear the heck out of these shoes, y'all. And then I have my Nike necklace, just some gold hoops, and that's pretty much it. I did like a little light, little light makeup, some concealer, and some powder. So I was just selecting my fragrance for today. And I got some new fragrances from um, Dossier. So um, let's talk about what I got. Okay, lifestyle lover. So I pretty much just put my camera on the um, on the tripod. That way I can kind of be hands free to show you guys some of the new fragrances that I received from Dossier. So if you are not familiar with Dossier, which I'm quite sure if you watch a lot of YouTube, you are. Because Dossier pretty much uses, you know, influencers and social media in order to, you know, just get the word out about their product. But Dossier is pretty much a brand that reproduces high-end fragrances. Some of these fragrances, they have down to a T. 
So their fragrances range anywhere from $29. I believe the most expensive one is like $59. But some of the fragrances that they have down to a T is Tom Ford Lost Cherry, which I believe that fragrance is probably like $300. Um, it does not have a long lasting scent. The real one does not because I've had some. I purchased the little small size of it. I will not purchase it again. I will not purchase the bigger size because the dossier version smells exactly like the Tom Ford version and it lasts longer. Another one of their fragrances that they have down to a T is Baccarat 540, which influencers love here on YouTube. I believe that fragrance is probably like three to four hundred dollars. I've never had a bottle of it at all but I can tell you one of my co-workers her daughter bought her a bottle of it for Mother's Day and anytime I go into the office I know when she's wearing it. You know why? Because I have the dossier version and it, sm it smells exactly like the actual Baccarat 540. So, um, like I said, I've never had a bottle of that. I don't know if I would spend that much on a bottle of perfume. I have not. I have been gifted um, a bottle of like $300 perfume, but, you know, I haven't purchased it myself. But I am going to get into the three fragrances that I have from Dossier um, this month, and I kind of forgot what I ordered. So, um, the first one is the Fugger Bergamot, which I think I ordered one for my son. So they also offer colognes as well. So if you're looking for something for, you know, your son, your nephew, your man, they offer that as well. So this one is inspired by the Versace Dylan Blue, um, which I've never smelled before. So let's smell it. This is a woman's fragrance. I have other versions of the Versace, but not the Dylan Blue. So let's go ahead. I'm going to spray it on this card because I don't know if I want to use this one, but I'm going to use one of them. Is this a... This might be... It smells like a guy's fragrance. Okay, y'all. I got to look that up. Um... Because this smells like a, I think this is a cologne. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's a cologne. So the next one that I have is the Musky, I'll put the name across the screen because I cannot pronounce it. But this one is inspired by Barreto. Um, this is a perfume. So this is inspired by the Barreto bar Barreto yeah is that yeah Barreto Blanche Barreto Blanche perfume so let's try this one see what this smells like I kind of like blind bought this stuff I don't think any of these that I selected for my fragrances this month I've smelled before I wanted to try something new oh this smells good this is Oh, this is what I'm wearing today, y'all. This is light and airy. Oh, oh. Yeah, baby, let's spray it down. And the thing is, if you're not spending that much on your perfume, you can just, I know some people like to bathe in the perfume. You know, you can spray as much as you want. I know when you spend a lot of money, you're, you're, you tend to not spray that much. But this is the scent of the of the day. I'll put the name across the screen. And that is inspired by Barreto. So the third fragrance is the Fruity Almond. And this is inspired by Good Girl. Carolina Her Herrera Good Girl. And I have a bottle of Good Girl. So I know what Good Girl smells like. So let's go ahead and spray this one. Okay. Oh, it smells just like Good Girl. And I, you know what? I'm going to do a giveaway in this video, Lifestyle Lovers. I want to share the love. I told you guys I have a bottle of Good Girl. It smells just like Good Girl. If you would like this Dossier fragrance, just hashtag Dossier in the comments below. And I will randomly select one of you guys 
and send it to you. It smells just like Good Girl. I have a bottle of Good Girl in my collection. Let me go get it. Lifestyle lovers, I had to go get my bottle of Good Girl. So this is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. It comes in like a stiletto heel. And then I also have a smaller version as well. So I have more than enough. It's, I've had this for a while. I don't think I have a whole lot in here. Um, but I do have, you know, I have enough perfume. So I want to bless someone else with a bottle of the Good Girl. It's Fruity Almond is the name, the dossier name. But um, if you want it, like I said, hashtag below dossier. I'll select someone randomly and I'll ship it to you. So yeah, I want to give a special shout out to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video. Check out Dossier. All of the information will be in the description box with a coupon code. This is not a gimmick. This is the real deal. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So we're at the mall. I just want to give a shout out to all of the parents that do not have to shop for kids for bike school. <laughs> I'm trying to be in your shoes because this is ghetto we got the uniforms though um so now we're gonna go look for a pair of shoes open it up tell the lifestyle love to say hey. <laughs> mustache. Mustache. what is up with kids wanting to wear hoodies all year round it could be a hundred degrees outside and they want to have on a hoodie. What is up with that? Y'all know I'm going to get me some cookies. I don't know what this music is. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So we're going to see if we can find move some shoes. I'll, che I'll check back in. King, you excited about school? Look at you. You look so sharp, boy. I'm not sharp. You look so sharp. Look at my first grader. Alright, you got to behave now. I don't want no bad calls today. Me? You understand? His nose needs to be wiped near him. He look like he got something on his nose. Huh? Oh. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So it's a little later on in the evening. As you can see, <laughs> today was the first day of school. So how was, how was your first day, Messiah? Good. Tell the lifestyle lovers how your first day was. Good. Good. You ready for a good school year? Yes, ma Messiah was the only one. I Like he had some sense. King hollered when we dropped him off. He hollered and screamed. But they say he ended up having a good day. And Mookie was mad because his shirt was too big. So he was... Acting all crazy in the morning, baby. He took his breakfast, baby, and throwed throw it away. Oh, yeah. Baby, and guess what he throwed it away at? What? In my car. Mm. I got on his tail when I got home. The lifestyle lovers be getting on me, but, baby, I, I be getting on his ASS. And y'all can get on me, and I stay on his ASS. The day my baby birthday, y'all. Child, look at her, baby. She getting that hair ready. Go turn on some light in here. The day my baby birthday, she 27. And she come over here thinking it's going to be some cake and ice cream. Ain't no cake and ice cream. Ice cream and cake and cake. Ice cream and cake and cake. Ain't, ain't, never, ain't never no little spread around. Uh-uh, cut that, cut, that, cut that one off. Cut, okay, cut that one off. Mm-hmm. See, tell me how you like the new camera. Look at my baby, she 27. Hi, lifestyle lovers. She 27, honey. 27, five years old. What? And she finna go get another nose no. piercing in her nose. Now, what type of mess is that? You finna Mama, have two. Please. You finna have I... two two nose earrings. Hey. Exactly. What get you em. gonna do? Get them, daddy. Get them, daddy. Baby, daddy can't get me. Daddy gonna get got. <laughs> you don't.
gonna mess up your shirt already. How many shirts he got? Happy birthday, Nurse PP. Thank you. Nurse Period. And if Pooh. anyone leave any birthday wishes, thank you. Why you ain't even? There you go. This this camera heavy. It seems okay. like it's heavy. Mm -hmm. My mom got a new camera because she broke her last one. And girl, I talked about how I went buying no new camera. And, and look at her fuming on the new camera. What? Filming on the new Come camera. Come on. What you want? Hey. Baby, look at this hell, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what he is. Baby, look at that hair in your right now. <clears throat> Can you say hey? Come inside the lifestyle lovers, hey. They think you so sweet, but they don't know. <laughs> yeah, see on. how I zoom in. But I can change the lens out on this, on these. I got the Saint Lifestyle Lover, so we got to unbox that at some point. Mookie got that this Nike book bag. Mm -hmm, that's the same. It's Child, he got to have mesh mesh book bags. He can't even I use the that. Nike one. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, lifestyle lover. So we will actually be celebrating Nurse Period Pooh birthday. And we're gonna take a trip. A vacay. A vacay. A girls' trip. So. A girls' litiation. Litiation. They're gonna take um grandma with. <laughs> yeah, and then grandma start <laughs> grandma this one. <laughs> her first and her last. Baby, I'm the lit trip. queen. I'm the I'm the turn up queen. <laughs> okay, lifestyle lover. Show them king. Girl, don't nobody want to see uh the hair on your king. Say hey. Look at all that applesauce on your shirt. Say hey. No. Where you get that from? Before that. God, I don't sorry thing. You should have went out there and got some money. He gone. Baby, oh, yeah. sorry he won't give me no money. He think I'm he, too old. No, he would have got you some money. <laughs> You know he still try to be in the family show. Sure do. <laughs> I hope you ain't putting that on the vlog. It's gonna be on him. <laughs> okay, lifestyle lovers. We'll check back in a little later. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So it's actually the next day. Um, we were pretty busy yesterday with the um the first day of school and all of that, getting the kids off. Um, my daughter went and got a piercing, so I kind of kept the kids. Um, I think I left off because yesterday was her birthday. So I kept the kids and she went and got a piercing on her back. So uh, she called it something. Is Do you know the name for the piercing, Mookie? It's, she called it something. I guess it's a name for the piercing. But anyway, she got a piercing on her back for her birthday. But I have some packages that I want to unbox with you guys because I need to actually start packing. So for my daughter's birthday, we're going to go on a trip. So I wanted to go ahead and unbox these packages so I can close out the vlog. Just to give you guys an update of the kitchen, I'm pretty much waiting on the countertop company to come and do the template and they've been moving kind of slow. My contractor has been moving kind of slow. Um, so, and then I've been moving kind of slow as far as getting the cashier's check and all of that stuff. So, but it's in the works. And I had to order a sink in order for them to do the template. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox the sink with you guys. So one of the reasons that I kind of had to shop around for this sink, because these sinks are kind of expensive, like a couple of hundred dollars expensive. And it's actually, it's called a, what is it called? Workstation sink. That's what it's called, a workstation sink. So I can actually, chop vegetables you know at the sink it comes with like a cutting board and all of that so let's go ahead and um, unbox the sink <laughs> template this is basically why I had to order the sink before the countertop people come out because they need this specific measurement um, for to do the countertops so I'm not gonna take everything out of the box but this the sink is made by a company called cross 
that is where I'm also going to get my faucet. It's made by Cross as well. But this is the cutting board. Um, it also has a, it also comes with a drying rack. This is the actual sink and it's made out of stainless steel. So I have two of these two of these particular racks that will go down. So this particular rack will go at the bottom of the sink. And I think that may be the stopper. Okay, Lifestyle Lover, so you'll probably be able to get a very good view of it once it's installed, but I kind of wanted to show you a sneak peek of it, and it's called a workstation sink. So I had to shop around, but those sinks are Home Depot, Lowe's, Overstock, Bill.com, but I used Overstock because I was able to use a coupon. So by the time I used the coupon, it probably was like $400, but this sink runs anywhere between five to $600. And what else I got? So also, <laughs> I got another little gadget that came in the mail today. And it's this little thing right here. Um, so basically, this is like a face and body tracker. So you kind of put your phone on it. And I guess it's like good for making reels and things like that. So if I was like walking around in the living room, kind of like I'm doing, this is supposed to follow me. So I haven't used it yet, but I got like an email. I get an email with deals and stuff like that. So this was like $35 on one of those email deals. I think it's called Until Gone. So you can do live, live streaming and you can actually shoot a vlog that actually follows you as you move throughout it. So maybe I'll take this on a trip with me. And also, last but not least, the lanterns from Hobby Lobby came. So if you've seen the last vlog, I ordered some lanterns from Hobby Lobby, which is kind of like a CB2 dupe. So if you missed the last vlog, you probably want to go back and watch it because most of my vlogs is almost like a continuation of the next vlog because you may be kind of confused if you haven't seen the previous vlog, but those lanterns are huge. We're gonna go out on the patio. I'm gonna show you those, and then I ordered some LED lights. So we're gonna install them and kind of see how they look. Y'all, yeah. it's a lizard out on the patio. And I've been spraying him with bleach for about an hour, and he still won't die. <sighs> I'm so sick of these lizards. If you guys seen the last vlog, I had, um, well, my friend bought me these little strips that he ordered from Amazon. So I had one on the inside of the door of the patio and I had not seen lizards for days. So, you know, I was under the impression that it was working, but I was gonna order another one for the outside so I could have an extra barrier, but... One has gotten in. He's still out there. So I brought the um I bought the lanterns in the house, y'all. I don't like lizards. So these are the lanterns. They are huge. Lifestyle lovers. So this these are the lanterns. Let me like so this one, I can't remember. Let me get the paper so I can. Um, so this one, how many inches is this? Okay, so this one is 15 inches. So this one is 15 inches. This one was, this one was $27.20. And this one is, how many inches is this one? Girl. This one is, uh, what did I say? Uh, what did I say? 
like nine and a half. So this one is 15, this one is nine and a half. I'm not going out there with that lizard, so you guys will have to see them on the patio at a later date. But I brought these little LED lights from Home Depot. So I'm just gonna add the LED lights to them. And I brought this little remote, which was like $5. So it just like turns them on and off. Let me give you guys another angle. So this is off, this is on. And the LED lights as well as the remote is made by Hampton Bay from Home Depot. So I think that one was $10 and that, that one was $12 and that one was $10 and this was five. So yeah. So once, so I probably just insert a picture of how they look on the patio because, where is that lizard? Girl, he's still out there. He will not die. But um, another thing I wanted to share with you lifestyle lovers before I close out the vlog was my sister was telling me about this Mr. Clean Clean Freak. She said, this is the best thing since sliced bread. So she's been using it. She's been buying like three and four and five at a time. She sent me a picture, but she says this is the best thing for cleaning around the house. She states that it cuts grease and cleans like no other. And I was asking her, I said, well, you know, what do you use it to clean? She said, everything, the kitchen, the bathtub. So if you have tried this, comment below and let me know um, if you have rave reviews like my sister has, but I just picked this up. They have other scents. She says she loves the gain scent, um, but I only was able to find the lemon, lemon zest. And I think they had a lavender, but they were out of stock on the lavender. Um, but that's pretty much it for this vlog lifestyle lovers. I'm going to go ahead and eat dinner. I'm going to have my glass of Prosecco. I need to do um, some reading for a meeting that I have this week and I need to pack for my trip. So I'll probably pick the camera back up when I start to pack um, for my trip just to kind of show you guys what I'm taking. It's gonna be a short trip and it's, it's gonna be fun. So um, of course I'm gonna take you guys along, but you know, have a great week, a great weekend whenever you're watching this and I'll see you on the next video. I got to get used to this camera. I'm looking in the viewfinder, but I guess I should be looking here. Okay, lifestyle lovers. See you on the next video. Bye.